Let's make some amazing meatballs. Ones I personally think are better than other meatballs I've tried anywhere. You'll go places and they'll say, oh, they have the best meatballs there. You gotta try them. You know what the one thing about it I don't like every time I go to those places? Filler. Every meatball has filler. You can tell it's meat, breadcrumbs, egg. You're not really tasting the meat the way you should. You're tasting a lot more of the filler. Every single time this happens, I don't make meatballs like that. They're called meatballs for a reason. You want to know a recipe that's going to be awesome? If you make it, you're going to love it. One pound of ground beef and half a pound of Italian sausage ground, or this is a, another sausage. It's called country sausage. It's basic Italian sausage and like breakfast sausage mixed together. But you can use any type of sausage you want. You can even use just breakfast sausage. Half a pound of that, about a quarter of a diced onion, two cloves of uh, minced garlic, just a little bit of garlic powder as well, a little bit of onion powder as well. I'm saying maybe for these, maybe a half a teaspoon of each. And about, I'd say, three quarters of a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Fresh sea salt, about half a teaspoon. Fresh ground black pepper, always about half a teaspoon. Now I got everything together, let's mix away. We got our meat mixture all done. Everything's nice and incorporated. Simple, making a meatball is all about the palms. So you just grab some meat, do it about, it's gonna lose some of its weight while you cook it, so do it about maybe an inch and a half there. I mean, if you wanna make them bigger, you can, it's fine. It's no big deal, you can make those big giant ones if you want. But what you do is just get it, Palms like that, and then just go like this. And as you use your palms, see, they're making a nice ball and they're keeping everything together. You don't need a binder. There's your meatball. Let's do another one. Take it, just put it together quickly like that. Palms, softly palm it, move it all around. And there you go. And there you go, there's your meatballs. Made 12 beautiful, nice meatballs. Look how nicely rolled those are, right? They ain't falling apart. Let's cook them. All right, in a hot pan, we're just gonna put in some olive oil here. And then put in your meatballs. Do not overcrowd it. I like to just do like maybe that many of them, half of them. And then you could always do the rest the next time. If you overcrowd it, it's just gonna make the pan cool and they're not gonna get a sear on them. They're just gonna get that ugly cooked meat look. You want that crisp on the outside so that those onions get crispy. That garlic cooks so it doesn't burn but it gets that flavor out of it. And the insides are nice and moist. So we're about three and a half minutes in. And what I've done is just flip them all as they went along. About once a minute just to see Sides that aren't uh, cooked all the way, and just rest them on those sides if you can on some of them. Find ones that aren't fully cooked and just put it on those as well. You notice the meatballs are all sticking together, they're not falling apart. You don't need a binder or anything. What I like to do during the last part of it, just some of that grease all over it, some of those juices all over those meatballs. I'm going to cook for the last minute there. All right, these are officially done, so we're just going to go ahead and take them off and let's serve them. All right, on a serving dish, go ahead, add your meatballs, however you want to serve them. You can serve them on pasta, you can serve them by themselves, which is the way I'm having them because I like eating them by themselves. Pasta's good as well, though. Get your lovely, lovely sauce. 